Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand the generation of switching equation from a truth table. The Boolean equations can be directly derived from truth table or logic diagram. Similarly, the truth table or logic diagram can be constructed using Boolean equations. So, to obtain a Boolean equation, we can use a truth table or logic diagram. In the same way, from the Boolean equation, we can construct the truth table or logic diagram. To understand this, let us consider a truth table. Now, from this truth table, let us generate a switching equation. To generate the switching equation, first we need to observe the input variable that is producing the output as 1. So, logic 1 in the truth table output column can form a term in boolean switching equations here s3 s2 and s1 are the input variable and m is the output term so if we observe this two table so we are having four cases where output is one and for remaining combinations of input the output is zero so for this condition let us write the variables Wherever 0 is there, we will take the complement of the variable and wherever 1 is there, we will write the variable as it is. So, for 0, 0, 1, output is 1. So, we can write the variables as S3 dash, S2 dash, S1. So, we can write S3 dash, S2 dash and S1. So, for these variables, the output is 1. In the second case, output is 1 for S3 dash, S2 and S1. Let us write that. So, we can write S3 dash, S2 and S1. For the next case, the output is 1 for S3, S2 dash and S1. So, we can write S3 s2 dash and s1 and for the fourth case the output is 1 for s3 s2 and s1 so the output is 1 for s3 s2 and s1 so here if we write dash that represents complement of the number and if we don't write anything we are taking the variable as it is so we have taken these variables for output value equal to 1. Now we can construct the Boolean equation using these variables. So these variables represents the condition under which the output is 1. Now to write the Boolean expression or Boolean equation, we can perform the AND operation on this input variables. Then each AND term is added using OR operation. For example, if we take the first term, we can perform the AND operation and we can write the output is equal to, let us take the first term and perform the AND operation. So, we can write S3 dash S2 dash S1 plus, let us take the next term and we can write S3 dash S2 S1 plus let us take the third term and we will write S3, S2 dash S1 plus let us take the next term S3, S2, S1. So, this is the output equation or the switching equation that is derived from the given truth table. Each term is multiplied by using AND operation and in between each term we have performed R operation. This type of equation is known as sum of products which is SOP form. Each AND term which is product term identifies the input condition for which the output is equal to 1. This is how we can derive a switching equation or Boolean equation from a given truth table. So, whenever a truth table is given, 
this truth table always defines a problem that has to be solved using this truth table we can write the boolean equation and this boolean equation can be simplified and logic diagram can be written later so from this boolean equation or switching equation we can write the logic diagram so we can write the logic diagram using three main digital integrated circuit families like ttl which is transistor transistor logic next is ecl which is emitter coupled logic and the next type is cmos which is complementary metal oxide silicon this is about generation of switching equation from the given truth table hope you have understood the topic thank you